it's cruising along well. Okay, and it is. Um, perfect. Okay, so welcome back. Last time we were at the Earth Temple, um, off camera I did do some stuff. As you can see, my magic bar is double what it used to be. That was kind of an accident. I just ran into the Octo and I was like, well, might as well do it. Um, I also got some more bottles and I got some fairies just as some backup. Got some more arrows and I also purchased the incredible chart which we're going to need later for doing the Triforce pieces. And I also got the super sail that makes you go faster in the auctioning which um, helps a lot. It'll make sailing go by faster. So, Welcome to the spooky temple. So, we're at what I like to call the Big Kid Temples. The first three temples, I even looked back at my stream and I th it took me 30 minutes to do each. Um, but I'm also crazy. <laughs> so, um, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to think. So these ones are a lot longer and more complicated and you also have a... We also have a companion in each one, and for this one we have Meldy or Medley or whatever you want to call her. And she can fly. You can also pick her up and have her fly you around. And you skip one summer playing Wind Waker, you forget how to do everything. So yeah, the control me uh, melody that you learned comes very helpful. Ah, yes, here we go. Again, you look at some of these jumps and you think that you can't make it, but it's... Come on. The simple is very much about teamwork, because teamwork makes the dream work. You also want to keep her safe from enemies because there's like this jail that she can go to. Um, this uh, dungeon in particular, I find to be tricky. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna put you here. Um, because there's a lot of uh, wall masters that can pick you up and take you wherever. That's never fun. And they're kind of freaky. So this, they definitely got the spooky vibe down with the skulls and uh, the ghosts and all the spooky stuff. Okay, well, we did be doing that. Oh, also her little instrument. Shine on stuff. Again, I want to say it's spoiler free, but it's not. Um, and then these are new choo-choo, <clears throat> sorry. These are new choo-choos. Uh, they're like black, purple, dark, I, I always thought they were dark purple. But you get them in the light, like that. You can put them on switches. If you wanna kill them, you pick them up, you throw them against the wall. Or I think you can bomb them too. But they only stay rock for a short amount of time, so if you are using it as some sort of switch, just be aware that it's time because that is something that you're gonna use later on in the temple. Okay. So. I wish they had like a button where it was just like control. So yeah, you kinda aim it. I'm pretty sure that's just a treasure chart. Um, okay, put away. And then these elephant things, I don't really know the lore behind them, but they're all over this temple, and I don't remember seeing them in any other game. But there's these just like, I don't even not sure they're elephants, but they look like elephants.
flags. I know in one room it's very important to understand the flags. Because it brings in light. Um, but obviously we'll see that later. Oh, there we go. Aha, okay. So yeah, for this room, a lot of the stuff is optional. I'm actually gonna... I don't think it's a heart piece. If it is, I'll be really sad. <laughs> it's a dungeon map, which, um, if you ever lose her, you can't really see it because I'm standing on top of her, but right behind, you can always find her in the map. If you lose her, or if your game turns off, or you save, or whatever. So we can move on to the next area. I do love how spooky this temple is. Gives me hope. <laughs> Alright, so this puzzle is something you're gonna do later because you need uh, both of you to work together. Um, but, let's see, let's push down. Let's have her. Um, but you do have to go in the smoke, but the smoke won't let you use items, so need that and we're gonna need that you can kind of see there's the hammer thing so you want to make sure it's nice and cleared out Tada! so yeah this smoke does nothing to you as far as magic or as far as health but I'm pressing buttons and it's not letting me use my sword or anything at all basically the only thing you can do is roll around and then it goes away when you uh, go in the light so Take you with me. Uh, so usually when I come into rooms, I always like to put her to the side, figure out what's going on. Because uh, I don't want her to get hit by an enemy or grabbed by something and warp to another side of the map. Okay. So this is kind of similar to the last temple in Ocarina of Time. Um, it's definitely not as spooky. The spirit temple, kind of spirit temple, I guess this correlates with the spooky. Um, but yeah, so look, there's a piece of light for you to use. There is a chest for you to unlock and you can go to the next room, but you're gonna need your good friend Medley's help. We don't have the mirror shield at all. Oops, didn't mean to give it away. We came here for no spoilers. Sorry. All right. I'm actually going to just put her over here too before I disconnect. All right. So let's get that chest. But anyways, I was saying, um, it's similar to the Spirit Temple in Ocarina of Time, where it has you working with a lot of, um, in darkness. Ah, see, this is what I'm talking about. You can actually throw bombs in it, and they'll throw it back. Usually that's my safest bet, is to throw a bomb. No? Nothing? Alright, well, I'm not messing with it then. Um, does she need to be in here? Crap, she does. All right, I think this is the thing where she has to get taken away. Which, you know, whatever, it's part of the game. Oh, but you need her in here. Did she go to the beginning? Good job. Come on. Come on! I, I don't know. Oh, cool. Another one. Alright. So if you ever see any of those, my suggestion is if you can't avoid it, avoid it. If not, you're gonna wanna immediately get rid of it. And I don't know why this one is just like not... Nothing? 
does not care at all. All right, so, okay. I'm pretty sure that last room is more of an extra thing anyway, because we have the key, so we can just um, roll on out of here into the next room. All right, so, okay. Choo-choo is so much fun. So kind of like what I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty sure in the GameCube they did not have the little hint they're giving us today. Ah, oh, choo choos are so annoying. Okay. So you can see the light kind of poking through. the enemies um, and then push this block down so then you don't have to do that puzzle again and you're gonna want to take live with you don't leave her behind okay come on. see how those things go up and then it's no big deal This room's always fun. Uh, definitely gonna want to get rid of the, that guy. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh god, my heart's like racing. They are so tricky because sometimes they'll sit there forever, and then sometimes they'll grab you. Sometimes it takes three seconds for them to grab you. Sometimes it's one, and you're done for. All right, so bring it into the light. Okay. So this is a. Another thing of moving some stuff around. So, Link has done most of what he can for now, so let's bring Medley in. Alright. So, I'm gonna open these walls up. I don't even think it's necessary to do that, but. And then you wanna get Elephant Man. Off, so you can actually push it. I believe the walls over here, you don't really need to do anything with them. But, I don't know, we're here. Oh yeah, so if you wanna warp back here, which could prove to be very helpful. All right. So, I'm just gonna push this. It's either gonna be the compass or it's gonna be a treasure chart. And then this will help Link be able to get up on the platform. Pushing blocks is so much fun. If you like pushing blocks, wait till we get towards the end. Um, I believe it's to get the boss key. There's this puzzle where you spend a good five, 10 minutes just pushing some blocks. So much fun. Yep, I was right. It's the compass. Okay. Hey. Alright, I don't know why he needs to tell me that, but rude. Alright, bring her 
up with you. And let's go. There. Okay, whoops. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Rushing things a bit. So yeah, I always like to put her to the side first so I can go in here and... Oh crap, sorry, I thought I had my boomerang equipped. <laughs> Worth it. Alright, so these fun guys... Alright. You can, obviously you can't, okay. They can take over your body. You can't do anything about it. Um, they eventually leave. It does just as opposite control, so I'm gonna kinda... There. So now you need your friend's help again. All right. So this is the, come on, get, get up there. This is the only way. So first, you can't really see it, but let's get these elephant dudes out of the way. We're gonna need that ledge later. And there's a chest behind it, so why not? Come on. All right, uh, and then usually I like to just keep, if you keep her, like that, you can see that she's right there, still doing her thing. It's not, is it working? Yes. So, see, there's a ghost. Bring him over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. There, see? And then, you're good to go. Let's get that chest. I'm hoping it has a key in it. Um, so we can just keep moving. And then I believe this is where you get the mirror shield. Oh cool, it's a joy pendant. <laughs> Something we absolutely don't need. Um, okay. So we're gonna have to, let me quick check the map. I don't think you need her. So we're just gonna leave her behind. Oh, this part's always fun. All right, so. There's the key. You got it. But, oh no, you can't get out. I usually don't like dealing with these guys. So I kind of just do this method. And I have a hundred bombs, so yeah, it might take longer, but it is effective and safe. You don't get the creepy screaming pumping business, because who wants that? Maybe some people, but not me. And you're back out. All right, excellent. And we're gonna get money, because oh my god, we need money. I spent a lot of it, and we're gonna be doing tingle charts very soon. Well, soon. Anyways, tingle charts, not fun. So expensive. I was hoping in the HD version they would just ditch that, but they're like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing it. All right, so this is a mini boss room. As you can see, the skull it looks way angrier than the other skulls. So, we're gonna deal with one of these guys. Which isn't a big deal. Again, boomerang, the best item in the game. Okay. So that's not all. If only it was that easy. So it's a little more tricky to do it with these two guys because they can spin at different times and hit you. Um, 
Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry, I have my contacts in, they're kind of a little blurry. Yeah, that you can just control her body, and you can do that in the second temple as well. Which is kind of a fun aspect, and there's the swinging thing I was just telling you about. And with three hearts, you gotta be careful. So yeah, just try to keep it separate, because if they're both trying to get you at the same time... But yeah, okay. Stunning is pretty effective, well, or not. We did it! And I get a special secret item, which is the mirror shield. <laughs> so it's not secret anymore, and I'll get some hearts to get the beeping away. That's honestly the main fairy, uh, the main fairy, the main reason I got some backup fairies is just in case. Um, so I don't have to start over. Also, the, the beeping is quite obnoxious. Alright, so we have the mirror shield. So basically, you can do exactly what Medley does. Um, and then you still you still work together with her. Because I have tried to ditch her in this temple, being like, yeah, I'm, do I'm done with her. I'm ditching her. It's just going to be me. But no, you really have to take her with you the whole way. And ditching her just makes things way more complicated because then you have to go back and get her. So, never ditch your bird friend. That's the lesson of the day. All right, so... Sorry, I meant to... So, okay, she's at the entrance. I'm not dealing with this. We already dealt with this. We don't need to do anything. We're actually gonna walk back to the main area we saw before with the creepy... God, I don't know what even what it is. I really don't want to get... No! All right, we're good. We are good. What? No. I'm so sorry. Come on. Um... Yeah, I honestly recommend this game very much. Uh, it's my favorite game. I'm a little biased because I like played it as a kid, so I have the nostalgia factor. But honestly, I think it's um, it's definitely one of my top three Zelda games. Um, I'd recommend picking it up. Uh, the HD version is much, uh, they fixed a lot of stuff that, that they did in the GameCube. But I understand if you don't want a Wii U because I love Nintendo, but the Wii U did not really offer that many good games. But I also heard some rumors that the Switch might be coming out with Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. But that could have been just a rumor. Um, and you can just buy it on the eStore, which would honestly rule. Alright, so here, you're going to put her right there. Again, wherever you have her stand, she's going to stay, which is really awesome. And then you're gonna do the same thing. And you get a happy son instead of a creepy man. Which is always good. So yeah. I would say at this point you're about one third of the way through the temple. I'm gonna save real quick. Because again, this is the big boy temple. Um, we're at the other three took me about a half hour. I think, I don't know what it would take somebody who would first play through it. But this these usually take me about an hour and then the first three t take me about a half hour. All right, um, you're gonna wanna get rid of these guys because they're just obnoxious. So if you can. Okay, whoa, 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 <laughs> I thought it would get him. I just pissed him off, dang it. All right. Deku Leaf still works like a charm. So you can even just pull them as well. Maybe. Maybe he just doesn't care. All right, so this is another reason you need to bring Medley with you everywhere you go. Because... Okay, well... Because you need to sing some songs with her to open up passageways. Because I did. I tried to ditch her here before and I was like, crap, still need her. Um, yeah, that's... Oh. There we go. I 
I almost did the controlling thing. I don't know why. Um, I missed the secret chest in this room. Um, I'm actually doing the three heart challenge. I'm not doing 100%. I can go back and get the secret chest. I think I know what you're talking about. If it's this room in particular, you're talking about the Tingle statue over to the left. Um, but I was thinking about redoing this game and doing 100%, um, but right now I'm just going through it for the three heart challenge. And yeah, when the Wii U first came out, oh my God, because I'm such a big Zelda fan, a big Nintendo fan, whatever. But it was, it was like crazy expensive compared to the, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Compared to the Xbox um, and the PlayStation that were out at the time, it was like 500 bucks. Uh, and I remember waiting, and but then when Breath of the Wild was announced, I was like, well, now I have to get it. Um, and then I found out it was announced for the Switch too. They pulled a Twilight Princess on me where they dual released it. And I'm kind of nervous they're gonna do it with Breath of the Wild 2 as well. Okay, let me see. Yeah, three heart challenge. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I, I know there's no heart pieces in here. Um, and also I, it, also I played this game. I'm not even joking. I'm beating this game like 20 times. So I don't really go for a lot of the chests when I just do like a playthrough. But again, I was thinking about after this doing a, oh crap, that's not what I meant to do. Doing an 100% or maybe playing Breath of the Wild and then 100%ing Wind Waker. Which I have done before. But yeah, if you've never played this game, I highly recommend it. Same with Breath of the Wild. I think even if you, you know, you're unsure about the Switch, just to get Breath of the Wild on the Switch, I think is enough. And I actually convinced a lot of my friends. I'm like, it doesn't matter if you don't like any of the Switch games. If you just get the Switch for Breath of the Wild, it's worth it. Because that game was so good. This guy out of the way. I've done 100% figurines. I have. I've 100% on the entire game. I've even done three heart challenge on hard mode. Like, I'm insane. Like, I love this game. Um, so, this is not the first time I've even done three heart. Um, and one time I did it on hard mode as well. But yeah, I have 100% of the figurines. It is a pain. Because there's a lot of secret th stuff, like the Cyclos, when you do the wind song, you have to get him, and if you kill him, you're done. There is a mini boss in the wind temple. Uh, it's one of the whiz robes. You know, if you defeat it, you're done. Um, so you have to definitely follow a guide. And also the only reward you get is a heart piece, which kind of sucks because it's a lot of work. Um, but if you do a first playthrough, you can do a second playthrough. And whatever pictures you have from the first playthrough will carry on to the second playthrough. So if you do the first playthrough and you don't get it, you can still have like a second chance to get it in the next playthrough. Yeah, I know. They took me forever as well. And you have to get um, it on the GameCube version. Because here in the Picto box, you can take 12 pictures. And GameCube, you can take three. And here it verifies if the pictures will go through and on GameCube you just don't know. So if you defeat a boss, take a picture and though, I forget his name, I think his name's Sam, and Sam doesn't like it, then what do you do? <laughs> you know, you're just like, uh, well, I guess, I guess that's not happening, so. Okay. I do wish you could jump with her without her flying. Um, so let's take a quick look at the map. Mmm. Okay. Um, let's go the other way first. I guess it doesn't matter which way you go. Um, yeah, I would do that too. You you had to if you wanted to get it done on GameCube. Um, because again, if you beat the boss and if something said, it's not like you can go back and take a picture. Um, but God bless Lorenzo for being able to help us out. And also back in the day with Miiverse, a bunch of people would send around pictures, but that's closed now. Um, but they would send around pictures and help each other out. Those, and I said that before in the stream, those were honestly the real heroes of Hyrule, were the people that <laughs> sent around the Miiverse pictures. All right, this room, I'm not a fan of because there's a lot of those guys. Um, honestly, I just try to avoid them. Ah! 
It's a complicated room. Uh, if you defeat all the enemies in this room, okay, come on. If you defeat all the enemies in this room, you get another chest. As you can see on the map. What? That was cheap. But this room, even if I've played it a bunch of times, the figurine stuff. It, yeah. It uh, honestly, it's a nightmare, but it's it's fun. I think if you get the Wii U version, and you follow a guide, um, then I th I think it's fun. Um, and one thing I didn't get for the longest time is you know the little crabs on the beach. It's um, an outset and, and windfall. The little crab. That's that's a figurine. For the longest time, I did not know what I was missing. I think from outset, and it was the crab, <laughs> the little crabs that like run on the beach. That's actually a figurine, which I thought was really funny and cute. All right, so you have to get through the smoke. I'm, mm, I don't know if you have to get through the smoke. Okay. No, 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 no. All right, we did it. Smoky. Yeah, and then when you're done, you can defeat these guys and you get a treasure chart. But... I don't want to risk being teleported somewhere. So we're gonna peace out. And the next room, again, I've tried to do a lot of things in this game where you skip stuff. You don't need medley for this next room, but you do need to go in it. Because I remember looking at it, I was like, I have the small key. Um, I don't need to use this room. Yeah, you do. Okay, you can also do this. Well, all right. Not, I'm not dealing with it. I think there's only one. Nope, there's not. But we're just gonna run past. Okay, so yeah, you need to move that because the key goes into that room. And you also need to open the source of light so you can figure out that room next. Okay. This is why I went and got extra arrows because I'm not dealing with these wall masters. Not today. All right, now you need to bring Medley with you. For sure. Where'd she go? There you are. Come on. joystick or the game or whatever it always gets stuck sometimes with the songs but minor details all right so i still like to put her aside because yeah are good practice for something in the future. Hint, hint. It's the boss. <laughs> Get back here. All right. All right, what'd you say? Mmm. Yeah, I know. I There's so many games coming out for Switch that I'm saying, like, I actually, I played Candace of Hyrule, and I honestly don't recommend it. Uh, it was all right, I beat the game, but it wasn't that fun. But, you know, Pokemon games coming out, Mario Maker 2 is out, and I'm actually asking for that as a gift for my birthday, so hopefully I get that so I don't have to buy it. And then Luigi's Mansion 3, 
Link's Awakening, Animal Crossing, and then obviously my personal favorite that made my entire life was Breath of the Wild 2, but we don't know when that's coming out. It's probably gonna come out, my guess is next December, but that's just me being hopeful. Because I think the next E3 is gonna be Breath of the Wild 2 themed. So you gotta work with Medley on this. To get rid of the elephant man. Yeah, I was kinda, like, I didn't know much about it and I asked a lot of forums about it too, being like, so what do we think about this game? And everyone said, not really anything about it. I couldn't find much gameplay, but then I looked, I think IGN rated it like eight out of 10. So I'm like, okay, it can't be that bad. Um, but it wasn't great. <laughs> it definitely was not that good. Um, I don't know. I didn't find it challenging. I found it more annoying than anything. Um, because you just had to like defeat enemies via a rhythm. So yeah, I was. I definitely wasn't a fan. And also, I think it only took me like. 10 hours to be, it was not impressive. Ooh. Um, and then I saw there was their leaderboards were cool, and it was funny because I almost beat the high score for the fastest time, but my amount of deaths was like 180 or something, so I wasn't I wasn't on the leaderboards because I died too much. No, so I want to avoid. Come on, bomb. Thank you. Yeah, try going to bed after that. Yeah, I, I honestly, yeah, I got pretty bored of it as well. Um, but for me, I was like, I paid $24 for this game. I have to play it. Like, I just couldn't justify not playing it or beating it. And also, it was just like, I'm so close. Like, I might as well. And also, the the final boss, um, Ganon, wasn't even the hardest boss. Alright, yeah, so I like to So yeah, before I bring Medley anywhere with me, I like to clear the rooms, because I don't want her to get stolen, hurt, because I've never had this happen to me, but I believe if she gets hurt too much, she will like run out of the temple and you have to go and get her. Basically, I don't want to do any backtracking, so I usually try to clear these rooms first before she comes with me. And yeah, this is also another reason why you cannot leave her behind because again, I've come here, left her behind, realized I need her for the song, had to backtrack and go get her, so. There are no shortcuts in this temple. Well, there are, but like, as far as leaving her behind, there are no shortcuts. Um, there was a shortcut, it was, I missed it, but it's, it's like if you die and come back type thing. So no big deal. But I think after this, no, you still need her. You still need her for that final area. All right, so this is the boss room area. As you can see across is the entrance to the boss area. We're gonna, these pots are warping things. So basically if you exit the game, you don't feel like playing anymore. You can just hop in these pots. There's three in each temple um, and you can traverse around. And on that note, we're gonna quick save just in case. So we're gonna need to go down we're so close to actually finishing this temple because, ooh, this is gonna be some fall. Oh, no fall damage. Surprise. Uh, sorry, dear. 
Um, so, I believe this is the last room of the boss, of the boss of the temple. Yes, it is! Um, and it sucks. So, there's a lot of teamwork, a lot of moving stuff. That's the one thing I, because it doesn't feel like a puzzle to me. Because I, whenever I, even the first time I did this, I was never like, huh, what do I do next? It's just like, oh, I just gotta keep pushing stuff. So basically, you make this maze of light to be able to get the boss key. And you actually have to go on that platform first to ignite the light. Which I forgot to do. Actually, I'm just gonna have her fly up and do it. Because she has wings, and I don't. Alright, so that's the start. Um, and it stays like that. I'm gonna have her hop down. See, well. Again, you can use Link or Medley. Either one works. To it. I, the next boss is a lot of fun. I'm not sure if I've seen any other boss like it in any Zelda. And also, the first time I did it, I had no idea how to defeat it. It took me forever to figure it out. And it definitely wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I know some other Zelda games, I think, maybe have copied it, but as far as this is definitely, it's like first appearance of its kind. I don't know what the origin behind these I would say well when I first look at them I think scorpion yeah I'd say scorpion mirrors I would love to learn more about the like the wind waker lore I feel like there's so much that isn't explained so yeah that's half of it because then you gotta stand on each pedestal and etc etc okay you can also get her to follow you. Where is she? Come on! By calling her, and then she'll follow you, which is nice, because I don't feel like carrying her right now. So you pretty much do the same thing on this side. Um, no, it's yeah. And if you leave her where she can't follow, she yells like that. But you're fine. I promise. <laughs> I know it takes forever. This fun puzzle. Uh, I gotta have her do it. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm like, I'll aim it there and then I'll... No. I gotta have her do it. this concept more in the spear temple with the mirror shield but it's cool just that this idea came along sometime somehow yep. all right we'll just do this first real quick and the pots behind there over there actually have a lot of money 
It's actually not that complicated. It does look really complex, but again, it's honestly just aiming light at walls and moving. Because you don't have to even do it in a certain order. You just have to, I don't know how that happened, but I'm glad it did. Um, you just have to move stuff, really. And, ugh. Oh, you're gonna need this later when Tingle basically bank robs you for trying to be the hero of the ocean? Hero of waves? Not really hero of time. We're almost there. And we did it. Well, almost. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, so, come on. Come on. So now that we've done this crazy light puzzle, I know, you're fine. First, we're gonna get her on the other pedestal. And it's gonna be exactly like that first room with the creepy man thing. We get her up here. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Maybe. There we go. And then, yeah, the light fills the room, so all of the little chests that you saw start to appear. Which you can also get them before with the mirror shield, but it's easier just to kind of leave them, honestly. Uh, let's, oops, that's not what I meant. Let's double check the map. Okay, so, oh yeah, and there's a secret room up there. So you don't need to bring her with. She can just hang out in the fun room and let's go get the boss key. All right, so, I saw you light your eyes up. I'm just gonna guess it was a symmetrical thing. Yep. I think that's all of them. Sweet. And then, I don't know, these guys have always been really easy. In my opinion. I say as I get uh, Chuck Norris in the face. Uh huh. It's definitely a bigger temple than the original ones. And we have the boss key, so we're almost done! Every time I do this temple, I always say how it's way shorter than I thought it was. Um, same with the wind temple. Every time before I go into the wind temple, I'm like, oh, it's gonna take forever. And then as I'm going through it, I'm like, this isn't that hard. I don't know what I was complaining about. All right, and also the nice thing about leaving Medley is she automatically goes to the door you just came from. So you don't have to worry about calling her, lifting her up, flying her by you. She's just hanging out, but uh, you don't need her anymore. <laughs> Honestly, you don't need her anymore. I'll still bring her with. Because we just need to go to the boss and she does help with that, which I think it'd be cool if they had her help, but she doesn't. That's okay. I leave her here. So yeah, climb these wa uh, vines, which I think they made it faster for Link to climb these vines in Wind Waker, because my god, this is great. <laughs> Much better than Twilight Princess, if you guys have ever climbed vines in Twilight Princess. Holy hell, is that a nightmare. Who's ever designed to make it a realistic climbing motion? It needs to be fired immediately. It's terrible. All right. Uh, okay. So you just fly over with your trusty Deku Leaf. Let's do the boss. So I have, I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I have three fairies just in case. I will honestly be disappointed if I need to use the fairies. Well, it's not like they're gonna help me out anyway. Um, let's save. So I don't have to do the mirror puzzle again if something happens. 
because that is monotonous for sure. All right, let's get it done. So yeah, this boss is a lot of fun. Very different. <laughs> They're like, huh? <laughs> it's like I just walked into someone like on the toilet. What? So yeah, big giant fat ghost man. So you have to utilize the two weapons that you got to get here. First of which is the mirror shield and also the strength bracelets. So this part in particular, picking the ghost man up and throwing him against the wall, I could not figure out forever when I first did it. So you're gonna wanna get as many of these guys as you can, which it can be hard if you're running around everywhere. Just do your best. And repeat until they're all gone. Yeah, it gets a little more complicated. He blows wind at you. You can get to stop whatever attack that you're doing if you just shine a light. So yeah, he blows winds, try to get you into the spike. You get near him, he takes his lantern, swipes at you. Um, and also, the lights start to change towards the end. I'm a little tricky. Come on. Alright, four to go. Oh, the charge spin. I actually don't have that unlocked yet, but that would be so much fun to try. I never even thought about that. Um, where you give Orca, what is it, those bracelets? That would be pretty awesome. There's also something someone told me about when I was streaming the second temple. Uh, Forest Haven, where if you use the purified water and dump it on the um, on the, what, the the plant guy or whatever I don't know the name um, it's an instant kill and I try I was already in the temple so I couldn't go back and get it even, I tried but that is something I would love to do in another playthrough. I've always wanted to do speed runs, but it seems like there's a lot of hacking and skipping cutscenes and crap and stuff that I don't want to deal with, but I think a speedrun would be a blast if it didn't have that. And people take it so seriously too. I just want to have a good time. Alright, so three heart challenge, so we're going to be skipping getting that. We're just going to go right into the cutscene. She made her way back. So let's power up this Master Sword. Definitely, there have been, um, when the first time I left the heart container time, there were a few times where I like almost went into it and I was like, whoop! Had to quick dodge that. That would have been bad. It's definitely a weird thing to do and kind of a habit to break. Alright, so it's halfway powered up. Power to, re uh, to repel evil is not fully awakened. A doy. <laughs> to complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. 
Alright, step into the light, return to the world. Alright, later. <laughs> Bye! Um, about Prince Kilomi, please watch out for him for me. Oh, so sweet. So that's done. One temple down, one more to go. And then there's the Triforce charts. Yeah, I'm surprised the king never has anything else to say to you. Okay. So we need to find the next sage. Well, no, we have to go to the temple first and learn the song. Then get the sage. Then go back to the temple. Start again. And I really like this temple because I really like the sage or the person that comes with you. Um, spoiler, not really spoiler. He's like the cutest person in this game. And I love him so much. Alright, so... Okay, cool. We're gonna want to head north and I have the super sail. Alright, beetle. I have the super sail. And I also already got the iron boots. So we don't have to worry about doing any of that. We can just head right in, learn the song, get the sage, come back. I do wish there was some stuff you can do in between these temples, um, like side quests that unlock or something extra, but after you beat the third temple, it's kind of home free. I could even start doing Triforce chart stuff if I really wanted to, um, but I don't know if I have the money for it or the strength <laughs> to do that right now. <laughs> because it's it's not bad, but it's definitely not very entertaining. Alright. So this is where let's see. I know. I got the swift sail somebody one of my friends told me that I need to get the swift sail. Ugh. It's the best thing they added to the HD version. That's why I recommend the HD version more than GameCube because they added little things like that that just made all of the difference in the world. And uh, you don't want to use a bomb because if you use a bomb, the wind is just going to blow it that way because I've tried that before. Trust me. <laughs> Alright, so let's learn this song. Ta da! We're going to talk to this age. Who is apparently the pre bloodline of the Koroks, which the next sage is one of the Koroks we're gonna go pick up after this. Again, if you came here for no spoilers, I'm sorry. You came to the wrong place. So this, I don't know if you if anyone's played Ocarina, is um oh, what's the name? The the children from the first area. I don't know why Oh, I just said it and I skipped past it. Anyway, so apparently they turn into the little Korok kids. Um, but he's dead now, because Ganon killed him. He's a ghost man. So you have to find somebody who has an instrument. Hmm, I wonder if there was any ceremony where a little cute man, Korok guy, played the song. So we're gonna go get Makar. Uh, once you do, I'm certain the holder of the instrument will feel the blood, awaken within them, etc., etc. So let's go pick up the car. Yeah, I started streaming this Wednesday? Tuesday. I think I'm going to be able to beat this either tonight or tomorrow, de uh, depending on how long the Triforce charts take. Alright, so we're gonna head to one of my favorite places. Forest Haven. Let's see if we can find a little Makar. <sighs> yeah, when 
when I fr again, when I first played through this, um, it took me forever. Because I knew it was Makar, because I saw the instrument, and I was like, oh, a doy. It's Makar. I couldn't find him anywhere. And I actually had to look up the guide. Because he's hiding, because he's practicing. So, let me get... So, and this one. You can see the little music notes to your left of the waterfall, and you can actually hear it when you come closer. I love the boomerang. So yeah, you can see, well, oh, there we go. You can see the music notes. You can hear someone practicing. So what you have to do is go here. Nope, no, no, no. Bring the rope down. Or not. <laughs> All right, I'll try it again. Maybe you have to stand here. Maybe that'll make it easier. Do you have to do the? Lift? There we go. Um, you thought I was getting flushed in the toilet, Mikey? Why? Because of the waterfall? Can you imagine that stream of someone getting flushed down the toilet? I would watch that. Okay, so look, it's the cutest little Korok in the world. His name's Makar, and I love him so much, and I wish he was mine, so I could mother him to death and take care of him forever, and feed him little snacks, and tuck him in bed at night. Okay, so, ah Oh, Faywood, I haven't seen you in quite some time, have I? No, the tornado thing. Oh, <laughs> when I was warping, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Close enough. Oh, Faye, when I haven't seen you quite some time, have I? I'm surprised you're able to find me. Let's see. You can actually just deck a leaf in there if you were really accurate to jump in. I've actually never done that. Um, I'm not going to eat the Korok, Zeke. I love him. I love him more than life itself. I've never loved anything more than this Korok right here. <laughs> all right. I'm surprised you're able to find me here. You're wondering why I'm all the way down here. I'm practicing a new uh, practicing a new song for next year's ceremony, and I need privacy. It isn't any fun that everyone knows in advance what song I'll play. What? You can hear my song outside? <laughs> really? I thought the sound of the waterfall would drown it out. Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice from now on. That's incredible. Are you going to conduct me? What song? I can't wait. Oh, that's not it. Come on, don't get stuck. There we go. Um, no, I'm not going to toss the Korok at the barbecue. I'm going to toss him in my arms and hug him and love him forever is where I'm going to toss him. Um, huh, just go something like this. Strange, why do I feel like I already know this song? Because you do. And this is cute because this is like a uh, kind of like the Wind Waker theme. No. Oh. And again, this is the reason why I started playing violin in middle school because I was so inspired by Makar in this game that I wanted to be just like him. And it obviously didn't work out, but. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do like salad, but I'm not going to eat the Korok. <laughs> Stop saying I'm going to eat them. I'm not. Seriously. And then look at He's sitting on the head. Do you see him? Oh, he's so precious. I'll protect him at all costs.
right, so you got your companion. So we had Medley, um, and now we have Makar. So you kind of got to do the same things. Um, but Makar's special skills, because Medley, she honestly didn't have a special skill. Because Makar can fly, but Makar can also plant trees and have them grow, which you can use to hook shot. And then also you get, again, spoilers, whatever. The main item of this next area is the hook shot, so it's kind of a fun, fun thing. I know Makar is on the head of the boat, and it brings me joy. It cures my any depression I would ever have in my entire life because I love him so much. Oh. And then oh, I'll show you. I'm, when I bring him inside, I'll show you another cute thing he does. No! See, he made it safely. No shark came up to eat him. And I will also protect. Look at when he walks, he jingles. <gasps> oh, could you think of anything better? Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> oh. It fills my heart with love. So this is the entrance to uh, the Wind Temple. <laughs> Look at him walk up the stairs. <laughs> He's so excited! I'm so excited because I love him so much. All right, so this is the Wind Temple. Um, and like I say, in any temple, honestly, it can be a pain, but mostly it's fine. on his head. Oh my goodness. No! <laughs> okay. No, he's not gonna be a soccer ball. Stop being mean to my little baby in my car. All right. Um, so yeah, as I was saying before, oh, let's control his cute little boy. <laughs> I can't believe how do you, that's so, honestly, that's so creative. Like, you're gonna use him as a soccer ball. Oh my god. So mean, but so creative. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you can grow trees. <laughs> that fire's dangerous for a little tree, man. I'm gonna put him in the. So yeah, that's Makari's special skill. And also, real quick, do you see that there's a happy face on the tree? Do you see its nose and its mouth? Oh, no, no. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Okay, so Makari can fly too. Just like, oh. All right, we gotta save, we gotta save our boy. Um, I need arrows. starting pot and then there's three in each temple to be able to use if you ever decide to save quit uh, something happens whatever a way to backtrack to the temple okay. and this is cool too I you use a lot of items in this temple as well um, that is four 
for sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, we're gonna use our friend again. I'm sorry, this whole temple, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to keep my love for my car at bay, but mm, so cute. I'm gonna walk around. So yeah, he, uh, he helps you out. So then, Also, it's really good that I got um, more magic because you use the Deku Leaf a lot. It's kind of good to always have some on backup, which you can get by defeating um, the giant octopus that is two squares east of Outset Island. Um, and you can find it by seeing the big flock of seagulls. And then you release like a great fairy. So definitely one of the worth it, no matter what kind of game you're playing with Wind Waker. All right, so leave him here. Oops. Oh, I don't have my arrows, dang it. I don't feel like I'm dumping him. That was close. I actually do think there are wall hand masters, whatever, in this. Just to make things fun. But yeah, you, does everyone see the little smiley face, the nose, and the mouth? Ah, so cute. Okay. So that. And then you just you just do the thing. Awesome. And moving on. So I don't know. I forget how they do it in the Wii U version. But if you're doing Tingle Tunner stuff, Tingle statues, there's a Tingle statue at the bottom there. Um, this Makar has to get captured. It sucks, but it's kind of a it's a part of it, so like, don't feel bad if, and I think it's this part where he gets captured. Um, no, why does everyone want to kill the car? Why can't we all like have a wholesome love for this little Korok? Also, I wish they like lived forever AKA I wish Makar was in Breath of the Wild, but there is an island called Makar Island, so he does make a little appearance. So you guys want to sacrifice Makar, I think this is, yep, here's where it happens. Absolutely, <laughs> no. Absolutely 110% unavoidable. It's just a part of the dungeon. So then you're not, <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop trying to kill my child. Oh, you know deep down he's the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. There he is. Look at him hopping. Oh, okay. So you can't get him out yet, but you gotta talk to him real quick. The stone blocks the entrance seems extremely heavy. The only way you can move it is if you'd become as heavy as the great Deku Tree himself. If only the great Deku Tree was here right now. That would be such a hard thing to do. So you cannot get Makar free right now because you need to get the main item of the game. And you've used your iron boots and hookshot and bring it down. So 
We're gonna leave a car behind. He seems pretty safe, happy. He's got some grass to like munch on, I think. Um, yeah, he is back, but we can't, we can't bring him with us yet. And he didn't die, all right? He's just temporarily not with us. I just, you could, you could kill him, but it's not necessary, so. I wish the peahots didn't make that noise. It makes me feel bad for killing them. Okay. So you have to be careful because you can see there are. I think they're called wall masters. Evil hand. And the last thing I want to ever do is backtrack, so. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. So I got my adrenaline rush for the day. Thank you very much for that. Because again, sometimes they sit in there forever. Other times they'll just hop out. All right, go. Okay. And there's another wall master here. Wall master. Evil hand man. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna want to move the screen. Whoa, whoa, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. So you can get up on the other side. And you need Makar to get through there, but you don't have him. So we're gonna go to the other area. So we're right next door. Let's see what's in here. Probably a joy pendant of some sort. to come back into this room. And this room in particular is exactly what comes to mind when I say that you need, or you don't need, but it's nice to have that extra bar of security magic. That chest you don't need. It's either a treasure chart or a compass or something. I'll just go and get it anyways. Just for the sake of gameplay. Yep, it's a dungeon map, which again, cannot hurt to have. If I did not get the magic bar, I would have already run out of magic. For sure. But we made it. And, uh, whatever. Whoop!
right, make it up here, and you're gonna need your iron boots. So yeah, definitely something about this temple is you will use your iron boots, or not iron boots. You're gonna switch around a lot of items. A lot of times. All right. So now we're gonna head down, we're gonna get the main item of the game. So just jump, whatever, it's cool. So that room over there, obviously locked, so let's go in here. So this is where we get a key. Lots of floor masters. You can use bombs or that. So, obviously it's just easier to clear the enemies. This part, I'm going to try to get through as fast as I can because I understand that the spikes are very annoying. I am already annoyed by them. So, doo -doo -doo, yep, you look up, you see there is an entrance. And even below it, there's this funny pattern. That's where you're going to want to push this spiky guy. Or this platform. Sorry, I said spiky guy because I'm looking at all these spikes. Also, another chest you can get here. I, do I have the compass? I don't remember. I don't. There's also another chest that appears here. Um, I believe if you go back down and defeat some more enemies, etc., you can trigger another chest for something like a treasure chart. Usually, if there's a. Yeah, I know. My ears as well. Um, that's the most annoying room, I think, in the entire game. Like, I like the spikes, but if they could maybe turn down the effect volume, that would be great. So, if anyone's still here that, that was talking about the, um, the pictograph, this, um, boss is someone you need to take a picture of, or else, once you kill him, because, and there's only one, this is the only one in the entire game, this is like a special whiz robe, so, once it's defeated, you're done for. Yeah, my thing would be try, okay. Try to focus on the whiz rope more than the, that's not it. Obviously the enemies, but. Okay, I need to get out my boomerang. So I'm not taking pictures, I'm not 100% in the game. Um, yeah, you gotta get the picture. He's the only one. Once he's dead, you're done, son. So yeah, try to focus on him. Stop the incessant thing. There we go. All right, and this is the main item of the temple. Which I've said it before like five times, so. There are no secrets in this playthrough. I did keep the, I won't say it because I know there's some people that haven't played this game, but there was one secret that did keep until it was revealed in my past stream about the thing in the game. That's all I'll say. Um, Cause I do think that one's a, a good eye opener. I didn't, well, to be fair, when I first played this game, I was like eight or something. 
I was quite young, so I was very duped by a lot of the Zelda surprises. So I don't really know how dupable they are today. Um, but I definitely didn't guess it when I first played it. Alright, so now you have the main item. Okay, I gotta... here. You always... the boomerang is honestly... the most valuable item in Wind Waker. I would even consider giving up the sail in order to have the boomerang. Hello? manually target you. All right, so now this is kind of like, um, learn how to use the new item you just got. Because now we have the hookshot, we can get our friend Makar out and uh, have some more fun with our little cute buddy that we're not gonna eat, we're not gonna toss in like lava or whatever, and we're not gonna use as a soccer ball. The only thing we're gonna do is give him a lot of love because he's the best. Okay. Right. All right, well. Nope. And this car is quite obnoxious, honestly. And you get the, there's the wind thing that you get going later. Um, but if you don't get it and you fall down this hole, you have to do this all over again, which is totally not hip, not fun, not fresh, not funky, or cool at all. All right. Yep. So here, you're gonna use the deco leaf and fly over. Again, use so many items. Um, I didn't know it killed cannons. Um, but yeah, I the boomerang is so OP and I love it in this game. Switching items, switching items. So yeah, you're gonna see me switching items so much. Deco tree, just like you said. Pull it down. Your friend's out. And a joy pendant. Uh, okay. So now. This part's always tricky as to where to go next. Um, I always want to double check the map. Yes, we're gonna need to go that way to the room where Makar couldn't go to before that we needed him to. So right over here. I have to figure out how I'm gonna get over there. Uh, I think if you use the deck of you, you're good to go. I say, as I just complained, if you fall down when the wind's not going, you're screwed. Geronimo, come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, this time, again. Now that we have Makar, now that we have a child to take care of. Okay, I missed. Okay. So yeah, now that we have Makar to take care of, we're gonna start clearing more enemies. Because, again, I think if it gets hurt too much, or stolen, he goes back to that area. 
Um, it's like his reset option. Okay, so now, well. All right, well, the car will be fine. Okay. So we're gonna fly him over. enemies are reset. So... We don't need to do the whole puzzle again. Ooh, 20 roots. I will take that. Thank you. Uh, we just need to move the screen so we can cross. half the violins in the stair. Boom! Alright, we're gonna bring Makar in with this just in case. But I'm pretty sure this is, yeah. We're gonna set you in the corner. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Ooh. This is one of those fights I gotta be really careful in the three hard challenge. Knight's Crest to get the spinning move, but I never use it. Let's actually see how many Knight Crests we have, just for curiosity. 13. No, I don't have enough. So you have the beat. The big. Key. All right, let's take a look at our map. Okay. The boss is at the bottom floor. But we have to open up the fan first. Seems like we've done so much. I have an idea of where I'd like to go next. Now 
don't think I'm back on it. Why didn't I just... Oh, yeah. Keep following the path. Right in here. No. No, no, no. This is not where we need to go. And it would have been a pain to bring the car with me through that. right in front of me. <laughs> uh, there we go. So we're wa gonna wanna go to the Dishpunma. Can't talk right now. We're gonna wanna go back to the place that Makar was first taken. Put you down. Go to that next. This guy just makes me nervous, but I can't get to him. All right, it's fine. So we're able to hop over like yes. last time, so we should be good. All right. And then, yep. I believe it's this room, if memory serves me correctly. Check. Yes, it is. Alright. So, gotta bring my car with me. Oh, crap. I don't know where he went. Okay, he's still by the entrance. No biggie. Right, little guy? Time, hopefully, the car won't get captured. What? Yeah, I know. Thank you for your help, little buddy. That is not what I wanted. Ugh, I keep pressing the run button. There we go. Alright. Let's see if we can get this guy as well. Oh, I swear that would have gotten him. Well, I had such good luck. Like every other time I'd get that one shot, but it's okay. Well, Makar, I believe in you. We got this. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. No! Car. Everything is okay. Come on! Again, literally any time I came... Dead, but at least you won't hurt my little my little baby in my car. Okay. Let's go. Oh god, I hate this room. Okay. I Alright, so 
this room very much want to get rid of these guys. So be very small and sneaky. Alright. No! Okay. Yeah, come over here. Thank you. No! No! Get back here! Hand. All right, I'm switching back to bow and arrow. They seem close enough. slide by without worrying about anything. Alright. And I know there are wall wall guys up there, so we're actually I'm gonna play it super safe. Have Link come and help out. to backtrack, we're going to play it so safe. Just set the car on that ledge. Alright, let's get him up here. And move on to the next one. I did like yesterday. Hi, Rob. Um, I saw the movie yesterday with my dad. Uh, the movie about the Beatles. Well, my dad and my mom. It was really good. I feel like you have to really like the Beatles to like the movie, though. It is very catered to the fans. Um, and there was a part in it that was so touching and actually made my dad cry, which was so sweet. Um, but I definitely recommend it. It was good. All right, so we're going to jump down. Oh, my God. I just murdered my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my car, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to murder you. You didn't think it was that good? I thought the plot was alright and it was slow, but I don't want to spoil it. Did you see it, Rob? There's, there's a certain part that... 
Oh, I thought it was good. Yeah, I think it's good. Again, if you're a Beetle fan, go see it. Um, uh, I just don't think you need to like the Beatles like the movie. I mean, oh, do you see Link? Uh-oh. That was really funny. Um, whoops. Alright, so I need a key. I don't need to be down here right now. Um, yeah, I thought the story was just as good, too. I think it helps a lot if you are a Beatles fan to enjoy the movie. For sure. Yeah, there's somewhere... Because it's not in there, because it's a boss. Not there. Yes, it's on the second floor. You need to fly up to get it. I'm not sure if a car needs to come to you, but I guess we'll find out. Um, but it, Rob, you saw the movie, so you know the thing I'm talking about, but, um, the part where he goes to the lake house and sees, you know, you know who, I don't want to spoil it. That, oh my gosh, just that itself was worth going to see the movie for. And I'm actually, yeah, and I'm actually going to go see Toy Story 4 next Tuesday. I'm not sure if you need my car, so I'm just gonna click open and take a look. You do not, and I can't even leave, so. Um. I don't care for him either, but it was just a very surprising special thing. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um. Yeah, you can DM me, I'm sure. Yeah, you don't have to spoil in chat. You can DM me, um, but I, I'm like 95% sure I know what you're talking about. Um. But I just thought it was so, so surprising because I expected it to be somebody else and then it was... Yeah. There's two left. Come on. All right, there we go. So back kind of on the topic of Wind Waker, this specific room is kind of hard to find because there's really not too much direction being like, hey, go in this room. Uh, you just kind of turn the fan on and you're like, how do I get into the room? But you just look at your map, process of elimination. So you have one of the only rooms you've been in. It's one of the only rooms. I'm not going to sell my bath water. Um, I don't even think there's anyone that would want to buy it except for you. <laughs> even then, probably not. I can't believe how fast, ha ha ha, yeah. I honestly can't believe how fast her sold out. And honestly, like, as much as people want to criticize her, like, hats off. How much money did she make from selling bath water? That's $30 a thing. Like, man, what a marketing strategy. <laughs> At the end of the day. Um, yeah. She made 10K? Oh my God. It, does that include like paying for the product? Cause she had them in these cute little jars too and sending them out and stuff. Um, I'm 
gonna need the car. The car's not. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the car. He's in the room. Somewhere. Uh. <laughs> exactly. Man, exactly. Thank her for Yoshi. That is so true. Because, again, I'm not surprised people bought it. I am, however, extraordinarily surprised by how fast it sold out. You know, oh, crap. I mean, well, I guess if the car's fine, I'm fine. Um, that was the most surprising part. I was like, whoa! First. Come on! Alright, maybe not. That's why I wanted to get rid of the- Oh my god! Really? Of all the things you could have spawned! Oh my gosh. Now I have a vendetta. Come on. Come on, lock onto the- Alright. Not my best fight. Oh. Alright, I need to get my trusty boomerang out to help me out. Um... Yeah, people bought it and drank it. I don't understand why. Anyone would want to drink it. But also, she could straight up just fill bowls with water and nobody would be the nobody would know. She could just fill a bowl with water, not even say not even take a bath in it like she's advertised. Nobody would really know and people could be buying $30 of like a little thing of water that she probably didn't even touch. Somebody else probably filled in and closed and packaged. Ah! There we go. Her name's Belle Delphine. Hold on, I gotta defeat this guy. And I'll read whatever you said, Rob. that on stream as much as you want me to Rob I'm not gonna do it also I haven't downloaded the new Final Fantasy game because it was complicated all right so this part is a little tricky because you've defeated all the enemies but you're still stuck in this room so uh, da -da -da. Again, item switching, item switching, forever. So you're gonna wanna... Basically, there's still some enemies that are hidden that you gotta go find by practicing the ever twisty hook shot. Oh, what? I'm not saying that, and you know exactly why I'm not gonna do that. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah, there's a button there. Um, I, I played Final Fantasy once and it was terrible. But from what I was told, I played a terrible Final Fantasy. But I'm always open to playing new games that... Stop! Zero out of ten audience interactiveness. That's because I'm interacting with you. Alright. So we've unlocked... I'm trying to stay focused on Wind Waker. You're talking about bath water and... Uh, you know what Final Fantasy... Okay, every time you say what Final Fantasy... <laughs> Stop. Every time you say what Final Fantasy do you play, I never know. All I know is it was on Xbox 360, there are two discs, and there was a girl with red hair that was like, hee hee hee, and then this other guy that was like, ha ha ha, and that's all I remember. I just remember not having a good time. Alright. Oh my god, it's the thirsty gamer guys wanting their bath water. <laughs> I will give it to you. Okay, they made two sequels. Yeah, I don't know. That's not a game I can re recommend. Because I haven't played any that I've enjoyed. Okay, so this part always makes me very nervous. Mainly for my car and mainly for my fear, not fear, but just wanting to backtrack. Even though, so far, I have never had issues, but still, I'm very nervous. Okay, so, I even set up in a special little spot. You gotta go, what I do is I plant the tree and then I get out of there in any way I can. It doesn't matter, if you fall off towards the side, whatever. You just gotta go here. Plant that tree. And then get out of there. Yeah, I don't trust my car being over there for a second. You are gonna stay right here, buddy. Okay. And if you ever come to this room, it means that we are almost done with the game. Not with the game, I'm so sorry. We are almost done with this temple. So yeah, clearing the room for my baby in the car because I love him so. Ocarina was You just say that because you have nostalgia. Um, that's a hard one to argue. Because honestly, I think they're both pretty similar when it comes to gameplay. Ish. I don't know. Personally, I think this game is better than Ocarina. Um. Ooh, the best Zelda's Majora's Mask. I have to wholeheartedly disagree with that. Um, I've beaten Majora's Mask. I, I don't, I haven't 100 percent it, but I did get all of the masks. Um, I understand it's definitely a Zelda favorite, because I've seen it be a Zelda favorite. Um, but I don't like, I don't like the time. I don't like it being timed. Oh yeah, so this puzzle is annoying to figure out, to say the least. All right, so usually, <sighs> okay, so I need to get my iron boots. But uh, that's the biggest part about Majora's Mask, is I don't like being timed. I know everyone says you can go back in time, you can slow down time, but I also felt that game didn't have a lot of direction. All right, so yeah, you can basically get, get these right there. This puzzle is kind of annoying because it's very time consuming. Um, because there's a lot of pushing and iron boots. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Oops. Very noisy temple, for sure. Right, grab. This one, honestly, I don't think this one is near as bad as the spike room. I think the spike room is terrible. Um, I'll get through it as fast as I can. I promise. Push all the blocks up. Yeah, I know. Rob, you've never played this game before. I know that for a fact. Why are you trying to give me advice? All right. And also, you take your boots off. Whoop, pushes you to the front. <laughs> Stop it. Stop trolling my stream. The only Zelda you played is... You haven't got, even gotten off of tutorial mode in Breath of the Wild, so don't talk to me. Oh my gosh. What do you mean? So you know every Zelda puzzle because you played Resident Evil? What is that even supposed to mean? And I've tried to skip through this puzzle. Um, but because you're wearing the iron boots, you really have to do all of this, because I've tried to just skip through and put a box down and go for it. Um, I swear there was a way to, oh yeah, I forgot my best buddy. Whee! So now that we've got that, because you can see at the end of the aisle area, there's a rock with a song that you need. We're gonna have to do this lovely loud walk across. Resident Evil 2 played that. I've never played any Resident Evil 2 games. I think I saw the newest one um, because it came out for VR. That is, Resident Evil game or whatever game it was, or just scary games in VR are terrifying. Uh, not a fan. Put him here. Again, I always try to play that other song. We're good. Is VR dead yet? Um, yeah, it does have its own market. I'm waiting for actual virtual reality where you can like warp into games or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like uh, Sword Art Online. That's what I want. All right, so we made it to the boss room. So you know what that means, boss time. There's the, another one of those pots, so I'm gonna, whoops. I think it'll still do the trick. Yeah. So now I can take one from the beginning and move forward, etc. Let's make sure I have the item that I need. Excellent. So let's do this. Um, VR will never take over Oculus. I agree. Um, but it's boss time. So, a oh, fun Wind Waker fact, which I have so many. But in the HD version, they got rid of the guy that goes... So if you know the Mulgaria song, there's no guy that does the chickadee thing. If you look up the GameCube song, it's different. And I miss him, because I love his chickadee noises. I'm gonna finish Wind Waker first, and then I can think about what I want to stream next, but it's probably gonna be Breath of the Wild. Or Twilight Princess. Gonna keep the Zelda streak going. Alright, so this is the final boss, Mulgaria. He's got quite the entrance. Quite the extended entrance. Alright, let's do this. So, the only thing you need for this boss is your sword, your hook shot. And that's it. So, first 
part is easy. These guys are annoying because if you're gonna try to L target onto the tongue, it becomes very hard when they're alive. So, okay, okay. And you also gotta run. Because Mulgaria will try to eat you. Sometimes you gotta kinda do it on your own. Maybe if you can see. Oh. Also, if you get too close to his mouth. There we go. He will eat you. I honestly don't understand the point of those little things other than to annoy the crap out of me. Also, yep, he's just gonna go up, fly around, you keep an eye on whatever that guy's flying. Cause he's gonna try to come back down and eat you. Just like that. So definitely keep an eye on the sand and how it moves. Cause yeah, there he is. I'm not sure if there's an amount of times that you can that you need to do that. Yep, see how the sand's moving? Always keep an eye on the sand. And honestly, with any boss fight, just always keep moving. If you don't know what to do, don't stand in one place, just move. You'll figure it out. Alright, so it's going over here. Oh, come on. There we go. And it's done. Not a hard boss at all. Just annoying with the different things you have to L target. And we're gonna get ready to get the Master Sword at I know, this is barely a boss, yeah. Honestly, a little disappointing. But, it is what it is. And, of course, we are not going to be picking up that heart because this is the three heart challenge. And we're just gonna head right in. Even though we really need health, but whatever. We're fine. There he is! So cute! Oh. Right, let's bring, let's get a petition to bring Makar back in Breath of the Wild 2. Make him the main character. <laughs> and the whole game is just you taking care of him and making him happy and being his friend. I would pay $60 for that. <laughs> So the Forsaken Fortress has already. Ah, uh, like a molting snake that casts off its dead skin. That place is so empty and quiet, one can almost hear the echo of dead leaves falling to the cold, cracked ground. What? Why? What ails you? What? Lose the long face. The monsters are gone from the world. Doesn't that make you a little happy? Uh-oh. 
the Gadio! I have troubling news. Ganon has not shown himself to this sea since Balu unleashed his fiery wrath upon him. And what's worse, there is not a creature stirring in the base of the operations of the, in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it's possible, yet I cannot shake this forbidden feeling that I have about Princess Zelda. Faewyn, you must search for all the Triforce shards so we can head back to Hyrule without delay. Okay, so let me get a heart. Okay, so there's not a really good place to end this. Oh. Okay, what? Yeah, I named Ling Feiwen because that's who I am. Uh, <laughs> it's not an Irish jig, it's fun and cute. I don't know, I never thought it was Irish. Uh, okay, anyways, so this is where I'm going to be ending it for now and not even for today. I'm just going to be taking a little 30 minute to an hour break because I've been playing for a while. Um, so what comes next is we're going to be doing, oh my god, we're just going to pause. <laughs> we're going to be doing the Triforce charts and the, sh and the shards, and um, that's going to be a ride. And then once we get the Triforce, we get to see Princess Zelda, and then we get to head to Ganon. So we're almost done. So I'm going to be taking about an hour break, so come check out in about 30 minutes to a half hour, or... Um, or follow me to see when I'm streaming next. Um, but it will be later today, and it won't be long. I just need to stretch a little bit <laughs> after doing two temples in a row. But I had a lot of fun, and if you plan to stick around, then I'll see you in an hour. If not, have a great Friday. Enjoy yourself. Go party or watch the new Stranger Things season three. It's great. All right.